All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. It's, well, it's Monday morning here. You'll probably see the video Tuesday morning. It's about 10 o'clock, which is ironically the same time as when we put videos up, usually. So we're getting ready to head to the gym to do an upper body workout, and I just wanted to show you what I'm having for breakfast. So pretty basic. I'm just having some oats. I do a quarter cup, or I'm sorry, a half cup. If I do more than a half cup, it tends to upset my stomach. I think it's just a little too much fiber. Um, so I do a half cup of oats and I have my timing method here with three seconds. One, two, three. That's how I do it. So we're going to put it in the microwave here real quick. One minute and I'm also going to make my workout drink. So this is kind of interesting. See how it's got the sample label on here. We, um, we didn't have enough labels to for our last run. So we had like 20 bottles where we just had to stick a generic label, which we use ourselves. We're not sending out to customers. But anyways, so this is the Recovery Blue Crush. This is actually our number one selling product. So I'm just gonna use about a scoop and a half. We're gonna go a little bit harder today. It still hasn't been 30 days since my heart attack. So we still gotta be smart, not go crazy hard. But anyway, so once the oats are done microwaving, I'll show you what we put on them. Now, when I went to the grocery yesterday, they were actually out of fresh blueberries and strawberries. Like they were out. So I got the kind that's already made, or it's already kind of separated. Um, I'm gonna have some strawberries. And I'm actually gonna have some raspberries. Um, I like the dark colored berries the most, like blueberries. Uh, I use some blackberries, but today I'm just gonna use strawberries and raspberries. And then I usually throw in some <clears throat> flax and chia. Um, now, there's a, a, a nutrient in here called um, lignans that's really good for you. This has, it says omega-3. The truth is the conversion of the omega-3 in here to DHA is not real good. So I would still advise you to use fish oil or eat salmon or, you know, EPA, DHA supplements are a little better, but there are, there, but again, there are a lot of health benefits and fiber from this. So I just put some of that in there. Now, if I'm not going to the gym, I usually throw in a scoop of uh, granite protein powder but I'm going to the gym. I, this has got a lot of aminos in it. So I'm just going to stick with the oatmeal and fruit today. So I'm going to mix that up and eat it and we'll be on our way. All right. So before we go to the gym, well, I'm going to eat, but what we're doing today is it's actually day one of the intermediate program we just launched right here. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be doing some incline benches, some dumbbells. Basically, basically it's an upper body workout with a lot of emphasis, emphasis on chest and front delts and side delts. The second upper body workout that I'm going to do this week has a lot more emphasis on back and rear delts and a little bit more triceps. Um, but anyways, that's how it's set up. More on that when we get to the gym. So I'm going to finish my uh, lemon water here and my oats and then we'll be off. All right, so we're off to the gym. Uh, now we go to four days a week. I have been doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, full body. Um, but now we go to Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We're on four days a week, upper, lower, day off, upper, lower. Um, I'm honestly feeling really good. When I got out of the hospital, they had put me on three different blood pressure medications, which is kind of the standard treatment. Um, an ACE inhibitor, a beta blocker, and a calcium channel blocker. They've already taken me off of the calcium channel blocker, so that's good. I, and honestly, I feel better since they took me off of it. I think it was making me pretty tired, and my blood pressure was getting too low. You know, anytime I'd be sitting down, I'd stand up, I'd get lightheaded, which is not good. You don't want your blood pressure that low. So we dropped the, the one blood pressure medicine already. I don't think it's gonna to be too much longer and we'll probably drop the beta blocker. Um, it's up to the doctor. Blood pressure has been like 110 over 
77, 78 every morning. Um, but I got to be careful it doesn't get too low. So anyways, feeling really good. My next checkup isn't until August. I did get some uh, blood work order just because I wanted to. I just wanted to see what my labs look like. So that'll probably come in this week. But um, all things considered, I'm feeling really good. I just have a little bit of tiredness throughout the day. But again, I don't even, that might not even be abnormal because I was taking naps anyway. So anyways, let's see how I feel at the gym today. But last, as the week went on last week, I felt better and better each day. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to today. Okay, starting off with incline barbell. Now, if you watch a lot of my stuff, you know I usually do these second. Um, but in my beginner and intermediate programs, I actually do them first. I don't worry so much about joint stress. I want you to learn form with compound movements. So, um, so we're gonna start here. I'm gonna work up to something that's a, not a real tough eight. If I was 100%, it'd be a kind of a tough eight. But I'm gonna do three sets of eight. So I'm taking my time, I'm warming up a lot. One of the things I'm doing a little different for now is I'm trying not to hold my breath and do the Valsalva maneuver, which is how you produce force, part of it anyway. So I'm trying to continue to breathe through the whole rep so there's less stress on my heart. But um, I feel great, so let's see how we do today. Last week I did 185 for three sets of eight. So we'll see how it feels today. Okay, so last fr Friday, a couple days ago, I did three sets of eight with a plate and a quarter. So we've added a five on each side small jump so we'll see how the eights feel today with this pretty good pretty good we'll stick with that Three sets of eight with that. That's 10 pounds over what I did Friday. Good to go. So I'm gonna do a slight, a slight incline. Now in the program I have a slight decline, but I just wanna do a slight incline today. The first set was a set of 10. The next set is 10 reps, and then a drop set of around eight. So I just did my set of 10 now this is the last set and it's a drop set. So I'm gonna do around 10 and then somewhere around eight. Again, I'm not going max intensity. I'm trying to work my way up smart. Eight is the goal. Okay, that did burn a little bit. Ooh. I'm not out of breath, but it did burn. <laughs> okay, we're finishing up with uh, machine flies. One set, I did one set just to find the right weight. And now I'm doing one set of 10. So I love this machine. It's my favorite fly machine. And chest is on fire. Now it's time to move to back where we're going to do some dumbbell rows. Okay, so now we're on the bent over rows. Now, anytime you're bending over doing an exercise, rows, things like that, it takes the wind out of you. 
So I gotta be a little extra careful on these. Uh, it's four sets of 10. I'm using 80 pounds. Normally I would use anywhere from 120 to 150. So I am going pretty light, but even when you're going light, when you're bending over, it's just hard to breathe. So I'm not really trying to strain my heart right now. So we'll just keep with a lighter weight, real tight form. But I want you guys to go a little harder than I'm going. Okay, so that's it for back. Now, on Thursday, when I come back and do my second upper body workout, it's a lot less chest and a lot more back. So one of the upper body workouts, again, it's a little more slanted toward chest, whereas the other one's a little more slanted toward back. So now we're gonna move on to shoulders. I'm doing three sets of eight on a seated dumbbell press. I like to keep the dumbbells kind of out in front of me. Uh, anytime I get out here, I start having shoulder pain, but as long as I keep the dumbbells in front of me, I'm pretty good. So three sets of eight here. Okay, we're gonna go with 65s for our presses. Not too bad. We'll go three sets of eight. Right there. Okay, we're moving to side laterals. Three sets of 10 here. I've already done two sets. This is my third set. Woo. All right, now we're doing some hammer curls, two sets of 10. We're gonna follow this up with another bicep exercise. Today is two bicep exercises and one tricep exercise. And then on Thursday, it'll be one bicep exercise and two tricep exercises. So hammer curls, two sets of 10. I already did one warm up set. All right, so now we're gonna do preacher curls. Two sets of 10 on the prime machine here. This is a sweet preacher machine. Had to cheat a little bit. That's okay. I feel the blood pumping. One more set here. All right, we're finishing up with triceps. Again, remember there's more tricep work on Thursday. So we're doing the dual handle push downs. Two sets of 10 here. Should be around failure on both, both uh, sets. So here we go. I'll go a little bit heavier on my next one. All right, so we don't rush into post-workout meal because we just drink the intro during training. So here's what I'm gonna have in about an hour, some organic chicken breasts. And I like putting it on these uh, carb balance tortillas. These are really, really good. And then what I do is I throw in some mozzarella just to kind of get it sticking to the chicken, gives it a nice texture. And then here lately, I've been back on this uh, Frank's Red Hot Wing Buffalo Sauce Kick. I really, really like this stuff. I've been eating it on everything. 
And then I also put a little guacamole on there too. So a little bit low carb, um, some good healthy fats here and some good spice here. But I'll eat probably four or five ounces of the chicken and that's it. That'll be the post-workout meal.